Here's a quick reminder that the general rule for passing shots is to not use a slice and use a topspin forehand or backhand. So here's me serving. Andrew's the one returning here. And when I serve and get this return here, I already opted for this slice. You can tell I'm about to slice here and Andrew's approaching. I probably didn't quite see Andrew approaching there or I was already preset in my shot selection that I was gonna slice. So this was obviously a poor shot selection here. I could have gone with a topspin backhand, but I didn't. And so as this point plays out here, I slice in the worst way possible. It floats up for Andrew here, and Andrew hits this backhand volley cross court for the winner. And why is it that the general rule is to not hit a slice on a passing shot? Well, basically, slices are slow, right? So if you're playing against a good net rusher, any slice that you hit will be very slow and you know, Andrew's a good net player. He could cut off the ball very well on these slices. So on any passing shot, you should hit it with some medium pace. It doesn't have to be super hard or anything. You know, you do need placement. That's the priority on passing shots. But you also need some pace with it. Medium pace, hard pace so that it gets past the net player. I have actually have some videos regarding slice passing shots where I did perform it well, but many of those cases I sliced because I really didn't have much time to hit a top spin backhand or forehand. The slice was my only option or I needed to get to that spot. I needed to slice it to that spot very quickly. So I just used my hands to do a slice passing shot. So remember, as a general rule, Use a topspin forehand or backhand on your passing shots. Uh, predominant slicers like Roger Federer and Steffi Graf, they had backhand slices. They, they use that mostly on their backhands, but they will opt for the topspin backhand on passing shots. So remember, use the topspin backhand or forehand on your passing shots. If you enjoyed this video, kindly do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.